what is happening y'all welcome on back and we are gonna grab the cave so I looked at it I think it's like right here yes it is uh, the screenshot showed the loss and that and that's how we ended up finding it I just went back but let's see what we got we get artifact set and Calming Breeze reduced the aggressiveness of foes for 8 seconds. It's interesting. You just attack them and then you're like, take a nap. And they're like, oh, actually, yeah, I think I, I think I will. Got 10,000. Cool 10,000 to spare. And all that's left is to crush the losses. Itty bitty god penis. With our big... Fucking hammer. What happened at the siege? We have taken the city. In some districts, the fight is ongoing, but it's ours. Is there a merchant here? No? There should be a cat. We were well prepared thanks to you, Gauntlet Bearer. Thank you. Here, take this. A small token of my gratitude. We took down the protection. Thank you. We have seen the flickering. I wanted to honor Valerie before all hell breaks loose. Would you join us? Let's honor the fallen. We are gathered here to honor the memory of a great warrior and scholar. My sister, Valerie Aquila Taj. She was a woman of belief. In the cause, in her friends and family, in the power of things unseen. The gauntlet was her passion at the end. She believed in it. Even when others did not, she was right. And she is the reason we stand upon the precipice of victory over tyranny. You were the best of us. Thank you, sister. And farewell. She would have loved how the sea looks tonight. At least she has seen it. Not everyone can. We have been in hiding so long. We almost forgot what is out there in the world. So many people have died. Now we have to make sure it wasn't for nothing. This is a new era for the Knights of Bastingar. And this era has a place for you, Arif. You... You really mean that? Yes. This is not about forgiveness. It's about our future. I... and you. I didn't... We will end it. We will remain here. Good luck. Yeah, this is major Final Encounter vibes. We approach the end of our journey. It has been long and tiring, but we will change the world. I know it. I would like to... say something. It has been... I... I mean... It's all right. I know. Thank you, Gauntlet Bear. Avatar looking ass. <laughs> I just... I can't... I don't know, man. Something about y'all, I'm just kind of like, eh... You're kind of goofy. All right. I look at my map here. Um... What was this merchant? Is way back there. Well, let's go towards Thelos. There will probably be a uh, a thing over there, and then I can fast travel back. And check the merchant for some stuff. Oh man, if you got all your goons trying to protect the door.
This is it. This is it. We are united. Actually, hold up. I don't think I need that. I think I can just go here. Um, that would be big damage. Oh, I got some nodrite. Okay. No, the the fur furderite. That's what I'm missing for like half my shit. Um, let's upgrade you and upgrade you. We are united as one. We have honed our skills, perfected our partnership. Yeah, look, there he is. I believe in you, Gauntlet Bearer. Let us end this. Fools, inferior filth. You are too late. I have ascended. I am be- you should have stayed in your prison, old partner. Game over. Careful. Dude's literally like Satan, what the hell? Oh my god, the duck. I have a feeling there's a second phase. No, 
Oh, he... Mm. Wait, no, that crushed... I think I just... I think that crush crushed him through his shit. I'm gonna kill him with the heal. I'm gonna kill him with the heal. I guess it hit him through his shield. What is happening? Where am I? And our crush is shatter, but you know, same thing. I am the order of this world. I made this world. Halberd of Death. That's it. Finish the game. Set the achievement, Bob. After centuries, the Watcher was destroyed. The prison crumbled. The essence cycle was broken. Niall was free. Free to breathe, free to live, free to rule. The unthinkable had happened. Philos was defeated. They left this earthly plane. Their anger and oppression dissipated. The wraiths left alongside their master. Change had come with the Gauntlet Bearer, who in but a short amount of time reshaped everything. 17 hours to be Every exact. person found themselves in a new world. A world in which they have yet to find their place. The Knights can show themselves now. We can become a force for good once more. I only hope. I am up to the task. The Queen of a Thousand Years will not shape this world any longer. She will atone for her sins and accept her punishment. Will she live to reach the age for which she is known? Who can say? I do not know what the future holds for Nyar. They rule over this world now. But how will they treat the people? Have they learned about them? The Gauntlet Bearer left the fight, but the Gauntlet remains, still brimming with the power of the gods. This world now has a future. Flowers will bloom where now desert exists. But if the winds change once more, the Gauntlet will call for a new Bearer. getting credits or there they go oh man not not bad not too bad at all it's definitely a uh, fun little jaunt to lead ourselves up to armored core with um but let's talk about the game a little bit so obviously deck 13 is not a a triple a developer uh you know they they're mainly known for like lords of the fall and the surge and so the first thing i want to say is for them not 
even having like tackled an open world game of this scale before, they did a hell of a good job because I have played a lot of open world games and I mean, God, the, the, just the, the, the exploration and the world was great. Uh, the, the puzzles got a little repetitive, you know, like we had the, the chase the things and we had the, the follow the animals. So it wouldn't hurt to have a couple more activities, but especially considering double A, like, oh, dude, there was, the, there was so much to explore and goodies to find. Uh, and I think the biggest thing that stood out to me was just like the freedom of movement, like climbing on stuff and then dashing and going all over the place. That was a blast. So anyway, uh, to go into each topic in particular so first let's talk about the combat uh, combat was definitely a lot of fun uh, you know going through your, your different button combos hitting stuff a little bit of button mash a little bit of combo play uh, working your abilities in and then obviously the shatter mechanic and you know judging whether you're gonna use it to break apart or using it to go for a kill or whatever the case was that was a really satisfying combat loop there were a couple abilities that I noticed that just didn't really work all that well like even the 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 bronze tier I was using at the end, it would whiff quite a bit. Uh, so I definitely think that could be be cleaned up a little bit there in terms of abilities connecting. Definitely a little bit of jank. Uh, but I think that's that's almost to be expected with the, you know, the whole idea of, you know, this thing has different parts and you want to hit those various parts and not weak points. I think that's, that's part of the jank. But I, th I still think tracking could be improved in that aspect. Uh, in terms of the the build flexibility that came along with the combat, that was that was awesome. I mean, we had we had builds where we were going super high damage towards the end. We pulled a little bit more healing in. There were obviously slow builds that you could do. You could do hyper defensive builds. Lock it, we down. Definitely a lot of freedom in that approach. And we didn't even touch on the co-op aspect, but I could definitely see you know if you got a buddy, two two people just hopping in and playing this game. We'll probably have a complete blast just beating up monsters together and doing quests and whatnot so i definitely think there's a whole aspect of this game i haven't even touched on with the, the potential for co-op and that you know i don't know how well it plays but if it's as smooth as the game single player is i definitely think that could be really badass like exploring the world and fighting with a friend uh talking about the world design itself given that that we were primarily in you know deserts and a big emphasis on sand i still think they did a pretty good job you know we had like the underground city type area we had a couple forests here and there especially towards the the end where we had like the ruins and then the swamp that was a, a nice finishing touch as opposed to just like a wasteland or something towards the end uh, and you know usually with a game like this i almost think i would get a little overwhelmed with just the amount of, of you know sand but I think they did a good job of still adding a little bit of kind of desire to explore the world. You know, it didn't feel like I was just going to a desert anywhere, everywhere. There were little cities and little encampments and then ruins all over the place and then little puzzles to solve. So it didn't really get old. Uh, and the environment itself was actually quite pretty. So I did like that. Um, in terms of, of audio, personally, I just, I don't know, man, something about... Nile, every time he talked, it felt like, I don't know, he was just like, oh, wow, humans sometimes do things. I'm just like, oh my god, please shut the fuck up. And the amount of backseating he did that was not helpful so many times. There's an anvil nearby. There's an anvil nearby. Like, motherfucker, use your vision. Show me. <laughs> give me a, give me a fucking indicator or something. Um, so that, that definitely did not really uh, appeal to me that much and obviously it's just a preference type thing you know but other people may feel different about it uh in particular the, the oh yeah excuse me it's been a long night i spent like my entire sunday recording to get this game wrapped up so it's now one in the morning um but the uh the Nile vision like that, I think it was one of the, the major points that definitely could have been improved. I mean, especially with the upgrade for chests, they could have done like a hot and cold type system. Like you start vibrating more and more and more the closer you're getting instead of just like there was like two levels of vibration, like kind of close and then a little bit closer. But that didn't necessarily help you find the chest. 
I think that should have happened for chests with the upgrade. I think it should happen with anvils. I think you should have been able to even use it for, for side quests even. You know, maybe make it, make it an upgrade and use it for side quests. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot more they could have done with the vision. And, you know, for the most part, the only thing the vision was really good for was finding shards. Which I feel like that was kind of a missed opportunity there. Uh, talking more about the audio design, the music was pretty good. Uh, there weren't any like particular tracks. God, it's getting really loud all of a sudden. Um, which I might actually lower it down just a little bit. Uh, but I wouldn't say there were any. Of course, since I lowered it, the game all tabs out. Whatever. Let me tap back in. It's actually a weird technical thing with this game. I noticed is even in windowed mode, when you like tap out, it like pauses and then it pops back in. It's a little odd, for sure. But you know, we're doing what we can. But, but the, the music didn't necessarily blow me away, but it wasn't bad. Just, I don't know, I feel like, you know, coming off of Final Fantasy, that music was so incredibly out there that this just felt like, you know, it, it, was, it was good enough. It, it wasn't, you know, bad. There wasn't bad sound design, but it didn't wow me, which, you know, I think there's very few games that do that. Typically, uh, the orchestra for, for from software the orchestra for final fantasy those are probably the two that stand out to me the most uh besides that the story it it did start to grow on me a little bit but it was the story was definitely pretty i don't know run of the mill you know bad god good god uh for the most part obviously i skipped through a ton of dialogue people in this game love hearing themselves talk and for most of the time i was like i i don't really care i'm just i'm just here to to run around and have a good time i don't really care what this person has to say and it's it's weird you know because like we're playing divinity or uh, baldur's gate 3 right now and that has a ton of dialogue in it but i'm sitting through all of it and i'm enjoying it but the dialogue in this game something about it just i don't know it just didn't pull me in um in terms of performance, I mean, the game runs incredibly smooth. Game complete, thank you for playing. Continue your adventure, complete quests or activities. Tough elite foes you haven't defeated yet are waiting. We're going to do a challenge. Nito. Okay, so it's just right before I crushed his shrine. Do I have like a buttload of experience? 5,000. Okay, not really then. Um, but the... Uh, let's see. Let me, see. Let, me, let me fix the audio now that it's... What is, do, 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 do. What is that under advanced audio? Back to fifty percent mark. There we go. Um, the uh, you were here. Wonderful. Completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> what were we talking about? Talking about gameplay. This game. I went through music. I don't. I don't even remember what the hell I was talking about. I don't even remember what I was saying. This is why I shouldn't do reviews at one in the morning. Um. But I had fun with it. I think for, for what the game was, it was, you know, for being a double A title, especially, uh, there was definitely a lot to do and a lot to explore. And, and I think one of the big things that, that really drew me in here is just how smooth the aerial combat can be. Like the fact that as long as you're hitting, you're resetting your dash, which really allows you to stay on top of targets. That was really nice because there were dudes that were just like, I'm going to stay in the air. And it's like, okay, you want to play like that? I'll stay in the air too. I'll chill up there. Um, uh, some other things that really stood out to me, the amount of just customization, like, you know, your armor sets, your essence, your weapons. I think they could have benefited from from probably one more weapon. I think a fourth weapon to choose from would have been nice. Um, you know, we have the axe, we have the blade, we have the knuckles. I don't know, just one one more. I don't know, maybe a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they could have done. They could have done something. You know, we have the range weapon, we have the uh, speed weapon. This is kind of your your in between, uh, maybe like a momentum type weapon that shoots stuff or something, you know, manipulating little sandballs. I don't know. I'm just just throwing shit out there. I think what else? Ah, were, I was like, talking about how the dialogue didn't pull me in. And then, I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. It's kind of rambling at this point anyway. Uh, but I mean, all in all, I, I definitely had fun with it. I think this was you know just kind of a nice little. Uh, I wasn't sure what to think going into this game. I was like, I need this game to, to basically last until Armored Core. And ooh, vulnerability for eight seconds. Wow. Uh, and I definitely think this this was a good game, you know, for for just something that I wanted to play. Something to, that I essentially went into is like, a, will this keep me busy? Yeah, this absolutely kept me busy. There was tons of shit to do to, to run around and fight and upgrades to get and quests to get. and 
definitely a, a good game from the, the AA perspective. I mean, hell, this is better than some AAA open world games, I think. Just the amount. I think, like, the freedom and, and how smooth it was. Sorry, we're talking performance. So, talking about performance. I mean, given I'm on an, a pretty insane rig with, like, the 4090 and the 13900KS, like, dude, we were recording in 4K, we were playing in 4K. On average, like, right now, my FPS running around is about 90, which is phenomenal. So, sitting at, at 90 FPS 4K, that's, that's pretty fucking impressive. I mean, given it's on a 4090, but doing that while recording a 4K video at the same time, that's damn good. Um, from a technical aspect, though, there were a, a couple little things here and there that, that definitely threw me off. You know, that the red light in particular, that was pretty obnoxious. And every now and again, it would, like, flare up, and then it would go away. But we had that one time we had to, to quit. Um, but besides that, I mean, for the most part, we didn't have any, like, major technical issues. We had, you know, an enemy fall off a bridge. Uh, we had the one crash where, like, my meteor was coming down with the the boss's ability and it was just too many screen effects but for the most part from a technical perspective i think it's pretty damn good um, so all in all if i had to slap a score on it i think i would put this at probably an 8 out of 10. probably an 8 out of 10. i think the gameplay largely carried this game because the story and and the amount that Nyo talks definitely was the the worst part of it for me but i think I uh, more than made up for it with the gameplay, even despite the little bit of janks here and there. But definitely a fun game. I think if you're, you know, if you're just looking for something to, to run around in, and you know, I almost feel like it's I've said it before, but it's it very much like the the ADD of games. I'm just like I don't care what you're saying. I must triple dash and go find stuff to fight. Uh, and it's it's definitely a game that kind of scratches that itch to just run around and explore and accomplish stuff and i actually think because of the the fluidity of the movement like how fast you're moving and dashing and zipping around it it doesn't take long to get places and because of that i don't think the game overstays its welcome you know we are what's our, our play time at right now what's our last save can i see my total play time if i go over to a uh, that handle over there i can over there. I don't want, I want to check, because obviously there's, there's still side quests that I could do. There's still things I could hunt down in the world. I haven't touched co-op at all. And with all that, let's see. We came in at 16 and a half hours. So not too bad, considering there's you know the entirety of co-op left if I wanted to do that. I think that's a it's a pretty solid play time. I think, you know, completing, if I was to go for more 100%, I think I could easily hit the 20-hour the mark on this. Uh, but either way, we are wrapping things up here for Atlas Fallen, and obviously the next game that is on deck is something that I have been waiting for for a very long time. So, y'all stay tuned, and pretty soon we'll be trading in uh, Sandblasting for mechs.